Get my cutter, get my torch Pour a beverage and I step out on the porch Grab a cigar, I love that view I guess it's time for another Poolside Cigar Review <laughs> How you doing everybody? Welcome back to a very special, very short edition of Poolside Cigar Reviews with Kirk. Today I'm not poolside, I'm actually out camping all by my lonesome. Uh, wife and daughter are out of town, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to uh, get out and do a little fishing and explore a little bit of uh, the beauty that is Southern Arizona. Tonight I'm coming at you with a Hoy de Nicaragua Antonio Dark Corojo. This looks like uh, it's one of those in between sizes. It looks like it's about five and a half by fifty-four, but I don't know. It's a good cigar. I think I've featured it before on videos. I don't know if I've ever had this Vitola. Um, this one tonight so far, just in, in this amount, has given me a lot of leather, like really, really deep leather earth, a little bit of pepper spice, but very full flavored. Lots of smoke, great burn. I just finished eating a steak and I wanted a big flavorful cigar. And this is delivering. I'm pairing it tonight with a uh, Modelo Especial. It's just a Mexican lager. Ideally after a steak with a nice hearty cigar like this, I would like a glass of scotch, but uh, I don't bring scotch camping. That just seems ridiculous. So, anyway, that's what I'm up to tonight. I definitely recommend the Antonio Dark Corojo. If you haven't had it and you like full-bodied cigars, again, that's the big caveat. If you like full-bodied cigars, full-flavored cigars, give this a try. Because it's a good one. And it's a good value. You usually find these at the B&M for 7 or 8 bucks, I think and maybe less depending on where you live and they can always get deals on these online as well mm. so definitely try the Antonio Dark Corojo and if you're interested I actually posted a link uh, in the description below to a video of my entire camping weekend adventure so uh, if you're curious if you like the outdoors maybe give that a look and if you don't like it you can always click on something else. I won't be offended. So, anyway, guys, this is uh, Kirk signing off from a actually a lakeside cigar review. I'll let you see where I'm camping. This is Aravaca Lake, in uh, about five miles outside of Aravaca, Arizona, not too far from the uh, Mexican border. So. All right, guys, hope uh, hope life's treating you well. Hope you can grab a good cigar. Make sure you click the like button, click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And um, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. I do my very best to message you back, as always. So, till next time, everybody, keep your feet in the pool or a lake if it's handy, a drink in your hand, and a cigar in your mouth. Have a good one.